All right, it's tool time today. Um, I like sharing tools that maybe people haven't seen before. Um, and I, I like tools that solve a particular problem well. So last week I had a, a project that I needed to draw, drill a hole and I needed special equipment to drill the hole. And um, Adam Savage on his channel had an episode where he was restoring a little drill press. And it's to be used uh, with real fine, delicate work. Um, and uh, so if you've got, if you've got a big uh, box of drills, you can get yourself a big drill chuck and you're set to go. But what if you want to drill a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole? Um, this is not going to get you there, okay? And so uh, the drills that I were using didn't come in this big box. They came in this little box. These are both made by the Huot, I think that's how you pronounce it, H-U-O-T uh, company. And uh, this index is for drill sizes 61 to 80. So these are tiny, tiny little, tiny, tiny little drills, especially the, the, these are even hard to see, probably can't even see on camera. Anyway, tiny, tiny little drills. And I had the opportunity that I, where I needed to drill with one of these small little drills. So um, these big chucks are beautiful. This is an Albrecht chuck and uh, it, it's, it's lovely, but it, 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 it can't hold these little drills. In fact, this one only goes down to 1 32nd of an inch. It can't hold it, a drill any smaller than that. Now you can get drill chucks that go to zero. Um, uh, here is a next size, and this one actually goes to zero. Here's a next size. So they get smaller and smaller, and uh, this one is actually a Rolm chuck, and this is another Albrecht. Um, but uh, these little tiny drills, um, the problem with them, is even though you have a drill chuck that can hold them, and you have a drill press, um, you will break these little guys because you don't have the feel. You don't have... You can't feel the pressure that's being applied to the work because of all of the machinery in the way. You kind of need some human touch to be able to figure out what's going on. And those little tiny drill presses are good at doing that. I have something that's called a sensitive drill feed. Um, let me show you that. Um, these are wonderful little devices. So this is what the video is about. This is also made by Albrecht. Now these things are stupid expensive and I always wanted one, but I could never afford one. So I actually had found a small little drill chuck. I don't know what it was out of, but I, I found a little drill chuck and I found some stock and stuff and I was gonna build one of these. It requires some ball bearings and things. Um, I was gonna build one of these and in the, in the act of locating the parts to actually design and build one, I found this on Craigslist for 60 bucks. <laughs> so, all right, scrap that plan. I'll just go buy it. 60 bucks. Is just, I think these go for around four or $500. They're ridiculous. Um, so what is this? Well, first of all, it's a tiny, tiny little chuck. So it can, it can hold small little things. Let's see, what is it? its range? Zero to three millimeters. So it's a tiny little, tiny little drill chuck. Now you're going to, uh, this this collar here and up is the is the Albrecht chuck. So you you grab this collar and this tightens tightens the chuck. Um, well, what is this thing here? Okay. Um, well, this this does nothing. It just spins. It's not attached to anything. It just has a ball bearing on it and it just spins. Okay. And here's the shaft, just like uh, just like one of these. Um, you put it in a collet or, or some other device in, in a, in a drill, drill press or something and, and use the thing. Well, the, the magic about this is you put this in your drill uh, chuck uh, or collet on your machine and then it acts exactly the way you think it would act, okay? Um, and this collar here, you can actually grab onto while it's spinning. So it's kind of a weird... <laughs> you have a weird mental exercise that it's okay to grab the spinning chuck. <laughs> I'll show you. We'll go over to the drill press and I'll show you this thing in action. But you actually grab this thing. Now, why do you want to grab this thing? Well, it's still spinning. It has a ball bearing in it, so it won't hurt you grabbing this thing, okay? But you can pull it. 
it's spring loaded, okay? So this is splined, so it will continue to spin down here, but the only downward force is what you apply with your finger. So that's the sensitive feed. So when you're using this thing, you can feel with your two fingers how much pressure you're applying to the work. And it just allows you to drill very, very small holes without breaking breaking these little guys which I've broken lots of before I had one of these so yeah let's let's go put it in the uh, in the drill press and I'll show you how this thing works in action all right I have a uh, Harbor Freight uh, drill press here and so here is the chuck that's normally in here and so we're going to take our sensitive uh, divide our sensitive feed we're going to chuck it in the uh, oops we're going to uh, Check it in here. Okay, so now uh, we have this all set to go and we can we can go up and down with it. All right, so uh, we're gonna be drilling into a little, a little piece of brass down here. So let's check in a small little drill. All right, let me see if I can get my drill in here. Um, actually, I'm gonna show you a top tip. <laughs> Put the drill in first, because then it's easy to uh, to watch the end of it and get everything nice and square and tight. All right, there we go. So now the uh, drill is in, and then we'll put it in the big chuck, and that's much easier to do. Okay, so we will come over to our part, and we will crank it so it's up pretty close there. Move the table up. All right, so we're ready to drill. All right, so. Let's see if we can zoom you in farther. I think you can see that now. All right. So let's turn the, uh, oh, we have a light here. Does that help? Oh yeah, that helps. All right, and then we'll turn the, turn the motor on. And uh, I'm going to reach over and grab this thing. It's, it's, <laughs> the first time you do it, it's kind of scary, but trust me, it's, it, it, won't, it won't move. Um, so now we're set to go. And uh, I'm going to then lower this thing and then apply a little bit of finger pressure and it's cutting. And I can um, watch the chips. I can feel the, the feedback on my finger. I'll come up and clear it, go back down again. There we go. And we have just successfully drilled a hole with that tiny, 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 tiny little drill. <laughs> and we didn't break anything. Nothing funny was going on. Everything is rigid, right? The, the drill press is rigid, so it's not moving in this direction and everything. So the only thing we have to worry about is pressure. And that's where this uh, sensitive feed uh, attachment is really, really handy. All right, so tool time in the shop today, and this is a great device if you need to drill a tiny, tiny little hole.